Chris Biagotti pushed Kayla, her 18-year-old special needs daughter, in a jogging stroller as she ran the Boston Marathon last year. Then, as she approached the finish line, as her brother Rick and fiancé Brian took over pushing Kayla, Chris literally felt the bombs go off. It was so loud. Like, I had never heard anything that loud. And um, it was, like, it felt like it just picked you up and moved you. As police and emergency workers filled the road, they all kept running to escape the explosions. On TV, you don't hear the, you don't hear it like it was. It was like a stick of dynamite going off next to your head, to me at least. Brian's ear needed 10 stitches, but everyone else remained safe. And after two years of training... It was go out, run, you know, 15, 16 miles, and then come home and get Kayla's jogging stroller and put 100 pounds of rock salt in it and then go out and do hills. They were the first mother-daughter team to complete the Boston Marathon with a jogging stroller, a big accomplishment. Throughout the whole day, you know, Kayla felt like she was a rock star and, you know, had her arms up and was cheering for everybody and people were high-fiving her. Kayla still doesn't know what happened at the finish line that day. She thinks it was all part of a celebration. Chris wants to keep it that way. She was hugging and kissing everybody and she was happy and, and everybody's like, Kayla, you did the marathon and, and everybody took that positive approach and so we continued that whole theme this past year. Kayla has now graduated from high school and attended two proms. Chris is back to training for the Boston Marathon and to keep her safe, Chris won't push Kayla this year. Her worries about running this year's marathon are not what you'd probably expect. My biggest fear for this year is that it's going to be extremely emotional. Um, I know that it's going to be probably difficult at times to run. But she is determined to cross that finish line again. At 47, Chris says she has many more marathons to run. Kylie Atwood, CBS News, Boston.